everyone, I'm Jen Allen. Today's workout is a cardio strength interval type workout and I'm gonna call it sports conditioning. Mainly because the sequences that you will be doing for cardio will resemble different kinds of sports such as skiing or jump roping or playing baseball or football or basketball or volleyball or soccer. So they'll have a theme to them, which I like a lot of variety when I do my cardio workouts, just kind of a fun theme. In between the different sports moves, We'll do some strength training. It will be basic and simple. And so you'll need a pair of hand weights. I'm gonna use a pair of tens. If you're not sure what you would like, grab a couple different pairs. And if you don't have any weights at all, use what you have around your house. Liquid laundry detergent, jars of peanut butter work great too. Um, you'll need a little bit of space. Make sure that your space is safe around you and that you can modify your space um, for the workout that you're doing or your moves for the space that you have. Please work at your own level. Push yourself to where you feel like you want to be pushed, but back away from things that don't feel safe for yourself. I think that's all. Let's get started. Make sure you have a little drink of water uh, close by so that if you need to hydrate, and we'll go ahead and get started. Glad you're joining me today. Do a lot of Pilates on my YouTube channel, but I know a lot of you are starting to use the cardio and the strength work also. It's great to mix up your workouts. Again, make sure you have lots of space around you. Let's take it into a deep squat here. Now go into a squat, circle the right arm up and back, then the left arm up and back. Now both arms at the same time up and open. Now just stay low in your squat and pulse, 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 pulse. Step out to the right side squat, step in. Then left side squat, step in. Good, couple more. Step touch side to side. Reach forward with your arms here. Reach up high with the arms. Circle the right arm back. Now take two steps to the right. Just kind of clear your space. Know how much space you have to move it around and modify your moves for your space. Hamstring curl, heel back. Take the toe to the ground, reach high. Reach across the chest. Let the arms just swing. Start to bring the foot into you. Now take the toe behind you, reach across the chest. Go back to the step touch, reach forward, and take the elbows a little wider and higher. Take it back to the high reach. Step into a squat. Squat, lift your right knee up. Squat, left knee up. Right knee, left knee. Hopefully starting to feel a little bit of heat as you're warming the body. Bring it into a march here. And we'll go to our first set of moves resembling a jump rope. So take that imaginary jump rope in your hand and circle your arms. Take the feet more to a tap forward. A little faster on the toe tap. Let's start to pick it up a little more. Circle the arms forward like your jump rope just got real big. Back to a small little jump rope. Heels forward. Still working that jump rope in your arms as you tighten up those biceps. Take the heels a little faster here. Good, little jump rope feet together. Double hop to one side, left your stick in your rope. Step, hop, step, hop. Now 
Now as you hop to the side, kick forward. Little flip kick, hop kick. Feet together, jump rope. Make that circle jump rope bigger. Back to the small jump rope. Now tuck, jump, tuck, jump, tuck, jump. Give me four more, push it up. Back to a march. Good, so that was your first interval, bringing it round down. And we'll repeat that again. From here, spin that rope, touch forward, touch. Take the touch a little faster. Make sure you're using your arms. Circle the jump rope up and over forward, bigger. Back to a small arm jump rope. Heel forward, heel forward. Take the heels a little faster here. Feet together, jump rope. Bigger arm circles forward. Step hop to one side, step hop. Skipping that jump rope here. Hop to a side, kick forward, hop, kick, kick. Back to feet together, jump rope. Now add a tuck, jump, tuck, jump. We got four more. Four, three, bring it down to a march, round it down. Good. Next sport, skiing. Holes in your hand, squat down and up. Holes, plant down and pull back. Now we don't always ski symmetrically. So you take those hips to the right, hips to the left. Plant the poles, hips to the left, hips to the right. Hips back to center, pulses down, four, three, two, pull, ski, three, two. So when you're down at those pulses like you're skiing down the mountain, low legs, take it up. Now just stay low, ski. Take your hips to the right as you're pulsing, then center, then left. Then center, then right, center, left. Back to the center, tap it side to side. Now here's your ski poles, circling down and around as you're starting to lunge into that move. Ski down the mountain. That's gonna get a little bumpy, adding a little jump as your feet come together. Feet together, mogul jumps. Lateral side jumps, mogul skis, find the poles. Cross country ski. Slow it down and power cross country. Deep into it. Deep down deep into the snow. Four, three, two. March it out right there. Wrap it down. Good. Deep breath. Squat, ski, pulse forward and back. Slow squat. Deep. To the right, to the left, hips to the right, hips to the left, a couple more. Now center, pulls for three, plant the pulls lift, pulls back for three, plant the pulls and lift, do it again, pulls back for three. Ski and low down the mountain, stay low. And ski, stay low. You got those poles in your hand, your hips are gonna go right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center. Tap side to side, ski poles in your hand, they start to circle around into lunges. Gets a little bumpy, adding that jump in the middle. Feet together, moguls. Cross country ski. Slow it down. Dig in. Dig in. Let's 
So four more right here each side. Four. Three. Two. One more. Take it to a march. Nice. One more sport and then we'll do some lifting. Play a little hockey. Step touch right to left. So visualize the goal in front of you. You're skating, pulling your hand or the stick in your hand, slicing across the chest. Take two steps to the right, two to the left. Stay there, skate side to side. Two steps to the right, two to the left. Stay there, skate, and that hop skate crosses the chest. Two steps to the right, become a grapevine. Grapevine, step, touch, skate. Grapevine, grapevine, step, touch, skate, across the chest. Grapevine becomes a big slide. Up and over, now skate side to side. Big slide, big slide, stay there and skate. Little change, slide to the right, stay there and skate. Slide to the left, stay there and skate. Slide, skate, slide, skate. Step, touch, move backwards. Leap forward like you're going to the goal. Step, touch, move back. Now give it some air as you skate forward, leap. Step, touch, move back. Skate forward, leap. Skate back, step, touch. Big leap moving forward. Let's put it all together. Slide to the right, up and over. Stay there, skate, toe back. Slide, stay there, skate. Step, touch, move back as you're skating backwards. Then lead towards the goal, big push. One more time, slide to the right. Stay there, skate. Slide, stay there, skate. Move back, step, touch like you're skating backwards. Then leave and come to the goal. Out, bring it out. Good. Okay, let's go into some lifting now. We're going to work into some back work. So if you've got different amounts of weight, find something to work for your back. This is your cardio recovery. So interval training, heart rate up, heart rate down to focus on strength. Keep a little softness in the back of your knees, hinge forward. Come back up. As you hinge forward, keep your back long. Hips back, chin up. Again. One more. Now let's add on to this. Hinge forward, roll the weights up into your chest. Elbows back, bring it down and stand up. Hinge forward, slow motion. Roll the elbows tight into the ribs, come down. Let's speed that move up. Hinge forward, soft knees. So it's not a squat, stand up, it's a hinge. Similar to a deadlift, soft back knees. Now on the row, we'll add three at a time. So it's over, three, two, and one stand up. Again, hinge, row. Row, stand up, two more times, and stand up one more time. So we're working low back in the position, arms working the higher back. Now, go down slow, flare the elbows wider, come back down and stand up. Go down into the hinge. Flare the elbows for the rhomboids, the back of the shoulder blades. Let's pick up the tempo. Go. Stand up. Soft knees every time. Think of your position every time. Soft knees, flared elbows. Okay, we're gonna add the three, two, one. So we come down forward, you go three, two, one. Stand up right, do it again. Three. Two, one, stand up right, two more times. Now you might feel like you need something a little heavier. Notice, it's okay. Stand up or lighter. 
Sometimes we don't have a choice. We have to use what we have. Listen, slow down and hinge. Fly the arms out to the side. Bring them back down. Stand up, pick up the tempo. Hinge forward, fly. Release, hinge forward, fly. Again, hinge. Now let's add the three, two, one. So there's three, two, and one. Stand up. Do that again. Hinge forward. Three, two, one. Stand up. One more time. Now we've got three different moves. Let's review. Hinge forward, roll the elbows back. Stand up. Hinge forward, flare the elbows. Stand up. This time, fly the elbows. One more time with the fly. And now we're going to do the three, two, one, one of each. Row elbows back, then flare, then fly. Stand up. Three more times. Hinge, row, then flare, then fly. Then stand up. Hinge forward, row, flare, fly. Stand up one last time. Hinge forward, row, flare, fly. Stand up and relax. Go set your weights out of your foot path. Grab a drink of water. Back to some cardio. We're playing a little baseball on this one. You'll need a little diagonal line. So again, work with the space you have. So fit your movement into the space you have safely. If you've got some space, use it. If you don't, just modify it. March right, left, right. Turn on to your diagonal. Put your arms up. That's the diagonal you'll use. Two steps to the right, two steps to the left, two to the right. Just kind of set your space. Make it a great bite. So step cross behind. Step cross behind. You're staying on that same great, uh, angle. When you go back, it's like you pick up the ball and you toss it. You pick up the ball and you toss it. You pick it up. Now use more back and abdominals. Get down low like a grounder. Come up. If you want a little more power, when you toss it, add a little hop in the slide. Four more. Three. Here's two. One more. Come back, face forward, step to side to side. Good. Before we do the other leg, the step touch here. You catch, you throw. You catch, you throw. It's coming to first base. You catch, you throw. Hop. Two more. Now squat low to the right. Squat low to the left. Now you're the catcher. Catcher's mitt. Catcher's mitt. Good. One more. Great bind to the right. Pick up the grounder and throw. Let's put it all together. Back to the corner. Pick it up and throw. Two more times. One more. Facing forward, step touch. Catch the ball, throw it to first base. Catch. Low catcher's mid squats. Get down deep. Two more. One more. March it out, left foot first. Everything we just did on the right, we do on the left. Aim to the diagonal. Two steps to the left. Two right. Just set your space. Make it a great bind. So we've got the short little combinations. Make the most of them. Start to pick up the grounder. Toss. Pick up the grounder. You might find one arm works better than the other. Pretty common. Now we're gonna make this bigger. You wanna reach down lower and then slide into the throw. Slide. Toss. Get some rotation. So the whole idea of using the sports for theme movement is to get the move muscling. Step touch, left, right. Do 
get the movement and the muscles working in different kinds of ways than typical. Catch the ball, throw it to first base. See that rotation? Push. Four more. Toss. Okay, here comes the catcher's mitt on the next one. Squat low. This could be the hardest one of all. No impact, but lots of muscles. Four more. And we'll put it all together on the left side. Okay, ready? Great by left diagonal. Toss, get in. Pick it up, ground or toss it in. Two more. Don't hold back, start to ground it up. Step, touch and catch the ball, face forward, toss it into first base. Three more. Now catch your bit down low squat. After this, we lift. So work through the cardio. Four more squats. Two more. One more. March down. Good. Boom. Okay. I need your heart rate to come down. We're going to work into some chest. And I'm going to lie you down. So if you have a mat and you want to grab it, I'm going to just bring you to the floor. Pick up your weights you want to use for chest. Come into a seated position. Once you're seated, lie all the way back. Bring the weights up in front of your chest. Turn the palms away from you for bench press. Elbows come down and up. Now you're going to be stuck here. I usually like to do chest presses on something elevated, like a step or a bosu or a ball. You're going to be limited by the floor. Try to stop the momentum right before the elbows touch. Stop. Stop. Slow this move down. As you come up, take the outside head of the weight, squeeze to a V. Lower, squeeze to a V. Now for this one, I wish I had 12 pound weights. I don't at my house. I have tens. And I also have 15s. Some of this I can do with 15s, but I just taught a class already this morning. So I'm going with tens because that's what I need. And that's what I have. A little faster. Press, squeeze, squeeze. Try to stop it before it hits the floor. Four more. Two more. Last one, hold here. Reposition the weights so the palms face each other. Keep the elbows a little bit soft. Open up your right arm to the side, fly. Bring it back up, left arm to the side. Bring it back up, right arm to the side left arm. I love one arm chest wise because it also kicks in my abdominals, especially the obliques. At the same time, both arms. Try to stop the momentum right before they touch the floor. Squeeze back up. Again. Let's do four more. Nothing fancy, just really good form. Two more. Listen to what I'm going to take you to on the last one. Keep the arms out to the side with soft elbows. Coming up a little halfway move. Lift. Lift. So soft elbows, wide arms. Four more. Halfway up. Just a little press. Last two. One more. Bring the weights all the way up. Bring them into the chest. Set them down. Carefully rock your head above your heart. Take a second to reacclimate the head above the heart. Don't come up too quickly. Carefully stand yourself all the way up and put your weights off to the side. We're going to play a little basketball. Grab a drink of water. Heart rate should come down as you were lying down on the back. So as we interval the heart rate back up, make sure you do so gradually. You'll need a little space in front of you. Bring it into a march right leg first. Little combination, march in place. One, two, three, and tap the foot. March, one, two, three, tap. Now let me give you a visual. You're coming down the basketball court, towards the basket. 
You're going to move this forward. One, two, three. You're coming to the basket. You're backing away so someone else can get the rebound. Now, you might not have a lot of space. I don't. I kind of come out of the camera if I go too far. So what am I going to add? A power move. Then a low. Up and low. Right, up, down, and low. Whatever space you have, you can even do it to the side if you have more space there. Now, I want you to give it a lot of energy for more. You're coming into the basket to shoot. You're getting away so someone else gets the rebound. Make your moves big. One more time. Good. Take the right foot forward and back. You've got the basketball in your hand. You pivot. You pivot. You hold. You toss. You toss. You hold. You pass the ball. So quick reaction agility. Go. Push. Push. Again. Push. Push. See these marches? They become an out, out, in, in. Push, push, a double dribble. Push it, four more. Double dribble, right foot. So change direction quickly two more times. Last one. Two step to the right, no arms for now. Okay, visualize, coming down the court and someone else has the ball. So you say, I am open. Pass it to me. I go low to the people and then high so my teammate sees me. Down. Up. Pass it to me. Ooh. Give me four more. Go low. Good. One more. Stay in place. Just drop and swing. You're at the free throw line. Right hand. Right hand. Right hand. Right hand. One more. March left foot, left. Everything you just did. March one, two, three, and tap. Left, right, left, tap. Right, left, right, tap. Visualize, going towards the basket forward. Get away. Higher, lower. Now, once you've got that move, you do it four more times, big as you can, go over the basket. Push. Take it again. Push. Again. Ooh. Once more. Left foot forward backwards. So I'm shifting weight. Ball in the hands. Pivot, pivot. March in place. Pivot, pivot. Quick change of direction, like you're gonna pass the ball to a teammate. Pass it, pass it, march. Do it again. Pass, pass. See the front every time. One more. This becomes an out, out, in, pass the ball, pivot, go. Double dribble, again. Pass it. Double dribble. Tension in the hands. One more time. Step, touch, left, right. Good. Take two steps to the left. Two to the right. Don't go back. You're saying, I'm open. Pass the ball to me. Go low, high. Four more. Two more. One more time. Now squat. Swing the arms back and forward. Now think left hand as you make the free throw. Left hand, left hand. Last four, big push, then we went, lift the weights. Last two, one more. March it out, good. Grab the heart rate down. Deep breath. Wait for some biceps in all different directions. Again, sometimes we don't have a choice. We've got to use what we have. Heart rate will come down. We'll focus directly on the muscle work. Hammer weight position, hammer head. Weight goes to the shoulder, down, head of the weight to the shoulder. So the angle of the positioning or the form makes a big difference. The angle. 
So a two count up, a two count down. It's slow, kind of a pre-exhaustion. Now right arm only a little faster. Left arm only. Right arm. Left arm. Right arm. Now, as I'm doing a bicep curl up and then the next arm, I'm gonna do one and then the other. So it's called a pump, pump. Four, three, two, bring both weights down to your side. Turn the palms face out. Curl up in two counts up. So a little different angle change, but same sequencing. Up, pull and lift. Two more slow. As we go to one arm at a time, start with the left arm first. Left arm, right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm. Now, going to the pump action, one arm and then the other right away, go. Pump, even if it's small and you don't go up all the way. Fire it up in four, three, two, and stop. Shake it off. Turn the palms into a traditional bicep curl and come up in two counts. Palms high, palms up. Bicep should be feeling this. Won't do as many reps now. This time start with your right arm as you go right arm all by itself. Left arm. Now let's pump one arm then the other. Oh yeah. Last four, three, two, and stop. Shake it off. Using just the right arm in a circular motion. Take the weight inward circle. Inward. Inward. Four more on that arm. Simple. Four, three, two. Other arm goes now. Inward circle. Comes into that bicep position at the top. You have four more. The next move is like a snake. Both heads of the weights go in and out, in and out. They snake in together and open to the shoulder, in together, down at the hip. This is our last bicep move, but we will do four more to finish. Snake it in, snake it out. Three more. Two more times. Last one. Good. Now shake it off and put the weights down. Grab a drink of water. Let's go back to some cardio. We'll be playing some volleyball on this one. Remember, this is thematic. So if you're a volleyball player, it won't look exactly the same. I'm more of a dance trained athlete, so I get a little dancey. Take your legs into a squat and sit back. Bring your hands in as if you're going to hit the ball with the bump of the right hit. Hit, squat, hit, squat. So think front shoulder, engaging. Push, push. I'm going to call that a bump. Now I'm going to change the hands. You set it up. You set it up. You set it up. Now you spike, spike, spike. Stay low, stay low, stay low. So you've got three moves. A bump, a set, a spike. Let's go. Bump, set, spike, stop. Bump, set, spike, stop. Bump, set, spike. One more. Bump, set, Spike, step, touch, side to side, keep it wide. Hands in position to hit the ball. So it's active, active. Bump, bump. You're right by the net. So you hit that ball up and over, up and over, up and over, up. Eight, seven, jump it over the net. You got four. Step into a low squat. Hold. Hold. Let's repeat. Hands together. Bump, set, spike. Bump, set, spike. Bump, set, spike. Bump, 
bump, set, spike. One more. Now stepping to the left, keep the feet wide, step, touch, and bump, bump. You're right up at the net, chug it, spike it over. Punch it over, punch it over, four more. March down, bring it down. Good. Release the heart rate, recover it. Pick up hand weights for triceps. Now we're keeping it simple in the weight training, but really hitting it hard. So often, people get discouraged if they can't do all the reps with weight training. So then they feel like a failure. Remember, in weight training, failure is success. You want to feel like you are fatigued. So even if you don't have the weight that you need, think about engaging the muscle. Take it above your head. I don't care what you do with your feet, but engage the tummy core. Behind your head, extend up. So even if I did this with just my fist tight and no weight in my hand, I can think about the back of the arm and the muscle working. Now I'm not gonna get any fancier than this. Eight more. Now remember, don't get discouraged if you can't do all eight. If you can only do five or six, you've done your job. You've got to that fatigue, which is the goal with the weight training. Now I'm gonna have you do four more if you can. Go, one. Sometimes we just need it in our head to say, I can do this, I can do this. Two more. One more time. And bring the weights in. Now I like to hit the head of the tricep in different directions. We use one arm at a time. Bringing the weight into the shoulder and pressing up on an angle. Press up on an angle. Press up on the angle. Because tricep means three. Heads to the muscle. You want to hit them in different ways. This one should be a lot harder. You've got four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it down. Take the left hand. Turn the elbow up and the palm out and press. Up. 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 Keep going here. Press. Four more times. Woo! One more. Bring it down. Last move for tricep. A kickback. Bring your elbows in. Hinge forward. Keep your knees soft. Elbows back. From there, press the weights. Back. Back. Don't let the elbows swing forward. Keep a hinge in the elbow. Eight. Seven. Four to go. Very simple, but very effective. Last two. One more. And release. Place the weights down. Grab a drink of water. We're going to play a little soccer. Okay. Some of these are going to look more like soccer drills. Not necessarily playing soccer, but what you use to train a soccer player. Take the right foot forward, left foot forward. So that's called a flip kick. I visualize the ball at your feet. Take this flip a little faster, so you're kind of shuffling the ball. Bring your hands out to the side. I think of speed and quick reaction time with your legs. Dribbling the ball. Step into the left foot. Kick across. Leap sweep. You're making the goal. You're leaping into it. Leap sweep. Leap sweep. Leap sweep. Four more. Hit it. Two more. One more. March one, two, three on your left foot. Left foot. Slow motion. Moving side to side. Pick up the speed. One, two, three. So if you're shuffling the ball, gotta be quick. Move forward. Move back. Move forward. Move back. Move forward. Move back. One more time. Hold there. March, left foot. 
Everything we just did on that one side, we do on the other. Left foot kicks forward first. And that's the sequence. Fast, quick dribble. Start to bring the hands up. Keep dribbling that ball in the feet. Now when we go to leap and sweep the kick, we go to the right leg. Go. Leap, sweep. Leap, sweep. We're going to do four more. Inner thigh sweep. Now run one, two, three. One, two, three. Visualize quick reaction. Come forward on the first two. Back on the last two. Forward and back. And forward and back. Last one. And back. And march now. Nice. Working into shoulders. So, shoulders, one of the smaller muscle groups. If you have options, you may want them. Remember, if you get to fatigue, you just stop your reps. Okay, soft knees, good stance, abs in, weights in front. Upright row, bring it back down. Upright row, bring it down. Upright row. Simple. Now only going about halfway up, pick up the speed to fire the muscle. Now we're going to continue to work the shoulder. So in two more we change. Keep the weight up, turn the palm. Overhead slow press. Pull in. Overhead slow press. Cardio uh, recovery. So I'm not using legs. I'm using legs to support. Right arm, a little faster. Left arm. Right arm. Left arm. Right arm again. Left. One more. Bring the weights to your side. Bring your feet together. Swing right arm forward, left arm back. And switch. And again, so I'm standing very upright for now. The only change I'm going to make now is I'm going to bring my body forward. Think of that back arm working the back of the shoulder. Stand more upright and think more of the front shoulder. Last, lean forward, think of the back shoulder. One more. Stand upright. The only part of the shoulder we still need is the lateral raises, so going out to the side. We're going to take it one arm at a time. Left arm first. Right arm. Left arm. Right arm. Left arm. Now again, you might be done. Whatever you got left, four more on each side. If you're working with good form, continue. If not, be done. Last two. Last one. And stop. Last cardio. Football. Set down your weights, grab some water. Similar to the soccer, a lot of these are football drills that you'd see if you were training a football player. Scoot back. Again, I don't know how much space you have, but we will be moving forward. Take your step touch side to side. Now, if you've ever watched a football practice, they have those big blocky things, those big pads right in front of you. And the defenders come down and they hit those pads. Hit the pads. Hit the pads. speed move back. This is called a football shuffle. Chug for as if you're going to hit the pads. Move back with a football shuffle. Here we go again. Move back, football shuffle. 
One more time. Shark forward. Move back football shuffle. Keep the football shuffle. Move sideways. Move back. Sideways. Back to center. Fast feet. One more. Fast feet, bring it in and out. Run the arms. Keep it in. Swing the arms back and up. Two jumps, then a jack. Hike the ball. 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 Single stick low. Woo! You got four. Three, two, and one. Rest. That's it. Let's get into some abdominal and some waist leg. Recover the heart rate. Breathe. Actually, before we do this, I want to add one more football move. Bring your feet together. Step back into a right side lunge back. Step forward, left side. You've got the football in your right hand. You toss it, left hand. Let's pick it up, last move of the day. Toss it, toss it, toss it. Pull back, pull back. Last two. One more. Now we're done. Deep breath. Exhale. Deep breath. Take the legs wide. We'll side to side. Okay. I'm going to do some standing up weeks. Then get down and do some abs and you're done. So, side tilts. Grab the hand weights. Bring the weights to your chest. Twist right, left. Anchor the feet, the pelvis and the hips, the belly and the back. Twist from the waistline up. Put your weight to your side, tilt side to side. Let the weight slide right down to your side of your leg. Stay just to the right side, right side only. Keep it right side only. Lift the left arm under the arm. So give a little more range. Put the weight on your shoulder for the next side tilt. So just hold it. As you side tilt, push the left arm high. Push. Make sure you don't lose the side tilt. Four more. You're done on this side. Four. Weight to the side, go left to right, left to right. Focus just into the left side and stop at the center. Left side, stop. Pull that right arm right under the armpit, up. Transition that left arm to the shoulder and leave it there. We change the angle, we change the lever. Push it over the head, you have eight. Side tilt. Press straight up to the ceiling. Last four. Two more. Ooh, one more time. Awesome, bring it down. Set your weights down. If you have a mat and you would like to use it, go ahead and grab it. Come down all the way onto your back. Feet to floor, hands to head, lift and lower. Keep a little bit of space underneath your chin. So it's the torso lifting, not the head. My head is in the same place every time I lift. Take your right arm above your head, lengthening the lever. Now notice my arm's not reaching forward. It's above my head with the bicep right next to my ear. Switch left arm. Same thing, arm is above the head, and bicep next to the ear. Now as I take the hand away and put both arms above the head, interlock the thumbs, chin a little forward. Four 
four more. Put your hands behind the head. Lift and lower. Start to open the knees. Place the soles of your feet together, taking away some of the hip flexor. Engage the tummy so it feels like you're scooping it out. You're hollowing it. On this next one, keep the head up. Lift your feet. Halfway down. So my head is hovered. My legs are moving up and down. My knees are open, creating more abdominal work and less hip flexor work. Take the arms and the torso towards the legs. If you can actually make contact, elbow connects to the knee. I never release completely to the floor. Little change. Right elbow goes towards the right knee in a little swivel. Then the left. Then center twice. This time the left elbow to the left knee, then the right side. Center twice. We'll repeat this again. Right elbow to the right knee. Left. Center twice. So I'm getting internal obliques. Left side first and then external. Center. One more. You're done. Reach it out nice and long. Stretch it. Thanks for joining me today for a little high-low sports conditioning interval with some weight training. Bend your knees, place your feet on the floor. Let your knees fall to the right and push your left thigh hip bone forward. Reach your left arm a little higher above your head. I love this stretch because it gets really that whole side of the body from the fingertips down to the knee. Transfer to the other side and then push that thigh forward, reaching the right arm above your head, getting that whole part of the body. Bring the knees to the chest, grab hold, keep your head down, lengthen your legs just a little, pull them towards you, allowing your hips to come slightly off for a low back stretch. Lengthen your legs straighter, lift the chin, drop it, and as you push your arms or your legs into your arms, feel a stretch to the back of your shoulders. Rock yourself up to seated, lengthen your legs in front of you. Fingertips face your hips, open the chest. So chest, shoulder, but if the fingertips are facing your hips, you also get some bicep stretch here. If I turn my fingers out and away, I'll miss that little bicep stretch. So lengthen your arms. Sit up and pull the arm across for a tricep and drop the shoulder away from your ear. Open the knees. Switch to the other arm. And then release over your legs. Bring your feet underneath you, shift your weight forward, lift your hips, and shake out the back of your knees. Walk your hands a little more forward, a little back of the feet, press one heel down for a calf stretch. Switch sides to get some jumping. Oftentimes I look at the feet and the calves, lift both heels, hips high, bend both knees, stretching out the feet. Walk your hands back in, soften the knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. As you come to the top, roll the shoulders back. So as we work with the skills that I think should be incorporated in most classes, especially cardio classes or hip classes, we want to make sure, go ahead and bring the arms all the way up and then just stretch over to the right side. We want to make sure that we work with agility, balance, and coordination. Those are the ABCs over to the other side. And then we want to add some power, which is jumping or forceful movement quick reaction time and speed. I hope you felt you thought of a little of everything today and that, those skills. All the way up, open the arms, take a big deep breath in, reach up. Exhale, take it one more time, bring your hands together, bring your hands into your chest. One more deep breath and exhale. Give yourselves a hand. Thanks for doing my sports conditioning high low class with some lifting today. Subscribe to Fitness with Jen Allen and check out some of the other workouts on the channel. There are a whole bunch. I think this was the 95th class. 
So there's a lot of variety, a lot of other stuff. I hope you can use it when you want to add some training, a lot of cross training. Have a wonderful day. Come join me again soon.